All right, so here we are from the world's most famous arena. It is, of course, Madison Square Garden. This is where the front row scene went down. This is where it happened, J.A. Lost for words, so I yelled the same thing over and over again. Pick Rose Nama Yunus, and you can hear me yell, Doug Rose, Doug Rose, Doug Rose. Archer, there's the early takedown. Pretty evident, DC, that he wants to get this fight to the ground, and he was certainly able to do so there. He felt like he had a massive advantage in the wrestling, and if he attempted takedowns, he would secure him. Let's see what he does from this position. Archer, good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. And they both stand up. Big ball to punch land. Now he gets back to range. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. Oh, and a nice jab by him there. And that's going to give his opponent some problems if that keeps landing. He's having a tough time getting his offense going because that jab is just stopping him every time. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. What a punch. Oh, look at him land another jab there. He's certainly using that weapon effectively here tonight. The most effective weapon in all of boxing, in all of combat sports, is a jab. This young man has a knowledge of using it like no one else. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Both fighters here continuing to try to get a more dominant position in the clinch, get fatigued in the process, I would think. It's very taxing to be chest to chest, a position we call 50-50. Oh, a huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot that will finish the fight. Takedown defense holds up. A jab. Green gets hit by that leg kick. They want to start checking some of these. Caught the kick. Oh, collar tie. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? All right, so there he goes, continuing to land that jab. When they put this highlight together, it's just going to be one head snapping back. It's going to be boxers going back and watching this guy and going, wow, this is what a jab is supposed to look like. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. And now he's got the tie clinch. Oh, nice kick right there. Tell the masses how, how good that feels to get kicked like that. Got it done. Feel good Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Staying busy in the clinch to avoid a separation. Punches block. Wow. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, nice. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Puppy. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand a strike with anybody in the UFC. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. And now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch, and I think a lot of people watching wonder how you can control an opponent like that. Hard to get out of. It's very difficult to get out of. Look and notice how tight his elbows are as he's maneuvering and moving his opponent into positions where he can get off the strikes. A little single collar tie there. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Well, you gotta like the way he has started this fight tonight. He has come out aggressively, connecting on a lot of shots here in this first round. No doubt, a crowd pleasing. Oh, nice pop there from the crowd as he finally gets the takedown. He stayed committed to the offensive wrestling, and now he has his opponent. Over. A sigh of relief from the people watching because they were tired of watching him flail around, trying to get takedowns and get defended over and over again. Finally gets it. Now, what does he do with the top of the Wow, actually got the takedown. 
Five minutes in the books. Great work. We won that last round. This round, we want to keep mixing things up. Use your punches. Well, he had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlight. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish, but if he lands one... Okay, now, two, you ready? Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Look at the control and the posture as that big knee lands. Nice. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Throwing that jab, no good. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single oh. collar tie. Oh, and there's the double leg takedown, DC. That is just too good, too easy. Too good, too easy. The timing was just too good. Before he could even defend, he's already off his feet going backwards. It's hard to run backwards, and that's what happens when this guy hits his double leg. Oh, and there he goes again, working off that beautiful jab. He continues to keep his opponent at distance. I mean, keeps him at bay with that beautiful, precise jab. It is like a piston. It goes in and out, and before his opponent can even realize what hit him, he's already hit them with another one. Right. I love, love watching this man fight because of that beautiful, educated jab. Nurmago Medov's attempting to pass here, but he's denied by the defense. Pretty significant welt to the left side. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Boy, Ty Plum. Nice move to punch. Switch knee lands to the body. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, <laughs> if you're going to sit there at the drive thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand, jab. Right to the target. Let's see if his opponent can survive. I cannot believe he is still standing after taking that punch. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly. Oh, nice scramble by him there. Takedown defense on point. He is a master in transit. Oh. There's no give on that leg kick. Effective strike there by Green. Oh, working hard here against the fence. We'll see if he can get the takedown. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Take him down, cut him. Take him down, cut him. Over and over to secure these takedowns. Under two minutes now to go in the round. And he's back up again. So the takedowns have been there, as have the get-ups. Just misses there with the left. Hands high, hands high. Another beautiful nice double leg takedown, takedown right. attempt there, and you got to think that's something that's going to give him confidence moving forward in this fight. A lot of confidence when it happens that easily. He took a shot. He no, the guy's attacking the triangle. He finds himself in trouble because he got a little bit lazy in the full guard. Looks like he's trying to manipulate the head. This could be tight. Watch triangle. Watch triangle. Continues to apply pressure here in half guard. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head like through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. Nurmagomedov's pass attempt denied. 
Oh, wow, that happened quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. Green going to work here from guard and doing a pretty good job, I might add. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Now he has a headlock trying to pin his opponent's back down flat onto the mat. Look for him to transition to an arm triangle to try to chase the finish. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round, saved by the bell. So back to the stool, mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. All right, so there's the horn. Let us now look back at some of the action in that round, DC, and he had his takedown game going early and off. Yeah, he had it going great. I mean, he did a great job of finding his entries, rushing to his finishes before his opponent could react and defend him. He should be very proud of the work he did over the course of that last round. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks Final in the round, previous man. round, we'll see if he can keep it going here so as our far. next round gets under. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his leg, legs and his feet that he's given him a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Just misses with the right hook. Oh, single collar tie here. And they separate. Shot at double leg. Oh, crowd really enjoyed that one. What goes up must come down. Man, I mean, what would what would that do to me? I'd be out like half a year, bro. You'd be done, John. You would not be calling fights. You would not be working anymore. Your back would be out. But the, people get mad when somebody wrestles too much, but they always enjoy slams like that. How about the speed on that reversal there? I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. Now look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. Close guard. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Nermago Meadow. Beautiful strike. That's a pretty good right hand there by your teammate, Khabib Nermago Meadow. See, you don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. And then the right to close the combination. Ramago Medov's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves That'll it. do it! Oh! And there comes the stoppage. I should say so, a tremendous kick to end that fight tonight. Caught his opponent flush, full force, full extension, and he had no chance to stay in this fight. Fight was over as soon as that kick made flush contact. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the...